Hello viewers, after revealing that he does not have any private information regarding whether or not Attorney General Mary Carden plans to edit Trump, Atlantic journalist Franklin now believes that a crook indictment of the twice impeached former president is unavoidable. He, on the other hand, believes that the lawyer is getting ready to charge him because he is committed to the rule of law and has no choice to do so. Trump and two others, imitators, would each receive an indictment, providing that no one is above the law. Forer argues, this is the guiding principle that has guided Mary Garland's career, which began when the Justice Department was attempting to assert its independence and legitimacy following the Nixon's administration's obnoxious melding. After that, Ford goes into great details about Gallen's career and provides a concise summary of the evidence that demonstrates Garland is fundamentally an institutionalist who would prefer not to end the Trump and start a political firestorm that would potentially result in a new wave of political violence. However, he also urges that Trump's actions have brought out a tenacity in Garland that he had not previously noticed. Garland asked the court to open the stock of seized documents when Donald Trump began to criticize the search of Mar-a-Lago, truly slumming the previous president. Lies urges that Garland passionately supported the FBI rather than passively staring at assault and FBI agents whom Trump scurrilously accused of planting evidence. As Trump's legal professionals attempt to use a sympathetic judge to slow down the department's investigation without the slightest semblance of respect, Garland's lawyers have responded with briefs that are categorically dismissive. For concludes by noticing that despite the fact that Garland would only indict Trump if he believes there is overwhelming evidence against him, he believes bar has been met and when asked about the former president he responds no one is above the law he writes he actually received frustrated that his response does not satisfy his doubters his indictment of trump would in my opinion demonstrate that he is capable of it even before he was elected president there were plenty of reasons to ridicule donald trump however a hilarious, story new, a hilarious new story suggests that his experience of rich guy fashion, which is utterly cheesy, has always been high on the list. When the conversation turned into one of Gilroy's most well-known films, The Devil's Advocate, the screenwriter was discussing his upcoming Star Wars exhibit with postcard host Mark Merritt. Al Capino plays the authentic Saturn leading a New York City law firm alongside Ken Reeves as the unsuspected lawyer who accepts a new position there. It turns out that the, the condonimum that was manufactured at this time was Trump's actual condonimum. In addition, Gilroy's asserts that they did not even need to alter the rental for the set, noting that Trump's condo has all the guide 10 features and the high-rise windows in the scene are quite familiar. After all, it is surprisingly easy to recognize, but listening to Gilroy's discuss about the authentic ride would be eye-opening if it don't line up 